I'm James. I'm Zach. And I'm BJ. BJ? BJ? Hey, BJ. <laughs> barrel, 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 barrel. <laughs> buddies, 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 buddies. Okay, buddy, when do we go to like... Buddy, 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 buddy. Where's the break? Where's the break? I, I was waiting for you to come oh, in. We're, no, we're going to sing it or we're just oh. done? No, I think we're done. Hey. Welcome to the Barrel Buddies. I'm James. I'm Zach. And I'm BJ. Welcome back to your favorite weekly whiskey, barrel aged beer, wine, and other spirits show. We try it and tell you about it, and hopefully you listen. If not, you drink with some friends. What are we drinking tonight? Oh, our wonderful friends at Gold Bar up in San Francisco. Thank you, Gold Bar. Thank, Thank you, Gold, Gold Bar. Bar um, graced us with this amazing bottle of their Rick House. Uh, recent double gold medal winner at the World Whiskey Competition, if I yeah. believe. Woo! I had no idea. This was a big deal. This was a big deal winner. A little closer. There we go. Perfect. Focus. Rick focus, House. Focus, focus. No, that's Roadhouse. This Road is house. the Gold Bar Rick House. It's a gold standard in, in Rick Roadhouse. House. In Rick House. You could do like a commercial voiceover for that. Yeah, you got You sound very Billy D. Williams Colt 45 Star Wars. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm flattered. <laughs> yeah, really uh, the gold bar, the gold standard of their collection, although that's to be determined. We've had regular gold bar, which we loved. Great. Um, we had gold bar black, the which double we cask. Yeah. really loved. Liquid barbecue. Dude, seriously. Barbecue whiskey. Get me some ribs, get me some chicken, all that. It great. was great. Hell yeah. Uh, and tonight we, we're going in their third offering here, uh, Gold Bar Rick House. So this here, uh, yeah, that's cask, cask blended and bottled. Yep. So yeah, this is cask strength, although still pretty low. It's only coming in at 103 proof. Um, so that's 51 and a half. That's still not terribly high for for a cask yeah, strength. Yeah, I mean, we got, a, we got a barbecue whiskey. Barbecue it, in a bottle. Barbecue whiskey. Gotta love it. It was Barbecue great. Is that, they, that's not how they market it, but that's how we enjoyed <laughs> it. I don't know. Maybe this is something good. To, that that needs to be marketed to every barbecue restaurant oh, west of the Mississippi. Absolutely. <laughs> to, pair, yeah. to pair a whiskey with barbecue, it was yeah, perfect. It's so good. No, you should be like doing some sort of like, you know, Fridays did the Jack Daniels sauce. You got to do the gold bar double cask or the gold bar black briquette sauce. Yep. It yeah. needs to be some like crazy good thing. Just throwing it out there. Our friends over at Gold Bar. That's an idea. Yeah. Check it out. What do we got on the bottle here? Why don't one of you guys read off what uh, what's in here? It's the Gold Bar Ooh. Rick House. Rick House. All right. And I'm excited. Is, for and this. what is what is a Rick House? What's a Rick House? What is a Rick House? Rick house? I, I, hey, I mean, I need That's a valid question. That's where you store barrels. So it's basically, it's a warehouse with uh, different levels. Yeah. And. Um, Specially made shelves to store barrels for years and years and years, years and years and years. Yeah. All right. And this is their offering that is a cask strength coming in at 103 proof. Yep. So 51 and a half percent. Because that's going to be uh, the, yeah, the highest proof um, uh, product that we've had from uh, Gold Bar so far. That's true. Mash bill is 80 percent corn, 20 percent rye. Um, so that's interesting but i think it will lead it to be pretty sweet and then yeah. what also makes this really uh really special as we said it's cask strength which means it's taken straight from the barrel and uh if you've heard our other gold bar shows you'll know that they they use a 1400 gallon uh french oak vat like a giant 1400 gallon barrel yeah. that they blend all of their product into before they bottle it so it goes into that, it blends, it gets additional time, uh, and then you're getting an amazing, amazing product. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and pour this up. As in the other gold bar bottles, it does have their traditional Lady Liberty coin, so that's a cool feature. Have we been able to get the coin off of the uh, off of the bottle yet? Not yet. No, Supposedly but while... that was a uh, that was supposed to be a thing. Potentially. Right? All right. Well, maybe, he's... maybe Goldmark can show us how to do that. All right. <laughs> 
<laughs> so uh, just going to the chat here while we're finishing up that pour. Toffee Coco, welcome. Uncle Punky, welcome. Oh, oh so it's a happy birthday to Uncle Punky, right? Happy belated. Happy belated. belated. We birthday. wished him happy birthday last week, I think, yeah, but happy yeah. birthday again. We got a subscriber 1000. Welcome. Hello, um, Mr. Pool. Hello, Mr. Pool. Good to see Here you. Here we go. All right. So, all right. So, I could kind of, I could smell Interesting right. color. Yeah, and, and Really color. dark. Obviously, very barely. Ooh, um, yeah, very ambery. It kind of has that double cast, double cast barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I am smelling that. I got that smoky I'm goodness. I am smelling the smoke. So I get a little bit of an ethanol that comes on top of that. That so you get that barbecue, but then I'm a little <clears throat> off by that ethanol. You get like that. So like, yeah, and I want stringent alcohol. I really want to explain when we're talking Ooh. about barbecue and smoke. What we're really talking about is like when you're burning mesquite. Like if you have a Traeger or you're you're using a wood fired grill and you Great get that example. smell of Great mesquite. Example. Um, where you really are getting the qualities of the wood that you know people prefer to cook with. That's what we mean by smoke. It means you're getting that smoked feature that you, you're looking for in meats. There's something a little off-putting about that ethanol. So it's, like a, so, so it's kind of funny. What I'm smelling here I is, like the uh, ethanol. is the double cask with, uh, with more ethanol. Um, I mean, like uh, the, the double cask had a, had a smoky smell to it, a smoky nose as well. Sweet. Yeah, it's sweet. It, it wasn't as, like... It didn't punch you as hard as this is smelling. Like so, the double gold. Do you get like a red a pepper cast? flake? Like that's what the ethanol does to me. It makes me think of something spicy, oh, like red yeah. peppers. Yeah, well, definitely a spice for sure. Right, like a but yeah. like a red pepper spice, not a baking yeah. spice. All right, I, I need to jump in. Italian in. red yeah. peppers. <clears throat> Interesting. Hmm. <sighs> It's got like a, it's got some vanilla to it on the very end, at the tip of your tongue. Wow. I get, uh, I get vanilla. Yeah, I get that too a little it's bit. It's sweet. The uh, spice is It's like a, uh, it's like a smoky vanilla. I mean, smoke is like right up front. I mean, I'm talking Same now thing with the ethanol too. dry, this, now it's chipotle. Like three, three sips, folks, remember. First, it's kind of your palate shock. That second sip, you're going to start developing some more flavors, hopefully. And that third, your mouth's coated. You get that full intensity of what you're drinking. This is interesting. Like there is different flavors on the tip of my tongue versus the back. There is a tip, ton of complexity. Tip of my tongue, like all I get is vanilla. Back of the tongue, I'm getting smoke. I'm getting um, just that uh, that that white. Oak. I'm getting now like charred tomato. Like all all I can think about is is Mexican food. This this is like charred tomato. Charred pepper, that char is really prevalent, but in that good way, like in the way that you want, not the acrid way. So when I'm talking about that char on pot tomatoes and peppers, it's that good char that makes you feel fire roasty. And, um, and yeah, it's sweet, but I don't... Vanilla is hard for me to pick, but sweet. Definitely get a sweetness to it. Definitely but, uh, get the, what, Like you were saying, the uh, chipotle pepper... I get that absolutely right. The spice mm -hmm. and the bite lends more to like a chipotle pepper, yeah. smoky but bitey, in a good way. Um, third sip. I'm not going to my third sip. I know you've had your so tell us about yeah, your, your I, I mean experience in third sip. Yeah, yeah. This is interesting, but <clears throat> the the ethanol is definitely prevalent. That's for sure. Uh, unlike uh, Gold Bar and then Gold Bar Double Cask, uh, I mean, I mean, it says it right there on the bottle, and I think it's meant to be that way. But James, all right, what are you here's, here's what, what I got. Here's what I got. Let me let me give you my two cents here. I think that the flavors are really solid. I like the um, like the gents have both said here the smokiness, uh, that chipotle, like a complex heat, okay. complex spice. Um, but I feel, though, as if there's just this, like, kind of off-putting grain alcohol back end that doesn't make this smooth at all. It doesn't make it, you know, I don't think it leaves a good taste after I've had a few sips. Like, it's, just, it's not comfortable. I know it sounds weird, but... No, it, it, it does kind of numb your tongue a yeah, little bit. Like, I'm getting the... So, like, when, when you bite into, like, a peppercorn, right? Mm -hmm. It just it, yeah, 
it really a little numbing. It, it's a little numbing. I mean, like, but uh, yeah, like we were saying, the, uh, the the flavors are very complex. The flavors are there. Don't get me wrong. And I, I think th- that's I, just the ethanol. That's yeah, I mean, I, I definitely lean the double cask, the black uh, the black uh, bottle, yeah, black bar. I don't know what they're calling it. So black bar bottle, double black cask. bar bottle. Double cask. Yeah, oh, bar I, I prefer that over this uh, because I think the flavors are very similar. Uh, but this one just kind of has that, again, like I said, that a little astringency that I don't like. I think it, it overruns the really, I think there's some good spice there. And maybe it's a different base or maybe grain profile that they should play around with, the mash bill, um, to where maybe you can just smooth that out a little bit more, maybe even proof it down. I know I hate to say that, but bring it down a notch. Can really yeah. have a good sipper huh. because I think out of the lineup, this is their their entry level, right? No, this is their top end. No, yeah, because uh, this is their top end. No, 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 no. I thought this was ground level, and then it went to like gold bar, black bar. No, gold, gold bar, bar, black Rick House. Yeah, gold really bar black, yeah. and then Rick House. So gold but bar. Why black. does this? Why does this have such a deviation? I know it's like well, it's like is a, it's there's like no a, wheat in this in this mash bowl. Oh, that takes away. Okay, that there's no sense. wheat in this. The um, wheat is normally like a smoothing agent, and there's no wheat in this. And so they probably, I mean, they wanted it's a to tough pr- drinker. Obviously, wanted to and proof I, it up. You know, you know? as um, you all should know out there, when I say it's a tough drinker, I mean we're daily drinkers here. So, just again, one man's opinion. Mean, hold on though, because I think that that's I think that could be. Really misinterpreted by the listener. I will cut it a little bit. Um, I think that you say I'm a daily drinker and this is a tough drinker means that the ethanol is like burning you out, choking you yeah. out. It's like yeah. too burning and hard Try, to swallow. You know what? That was a that perfect idea, James. Yeah, top give feed it, says cut. Uh, cut it. Yeah, add some water. I'll do that. So, what do you guys think? Keep going. I'd like to hear. You guys really you know, seem like fans of it. So, uh, you, you know, it's it's like. Um, you know, it reminds me of going from a small batch to a barrel proof, right? It's the exact same thing going from double cask to the barrel proof version, I think. Uh, it's like it's big brother. Um, it's got, like we were saying, uh, the the ethanol is definitely prevalent. Uh, there is a lot more of like that peppercorn spice on the back of your tongue. Uh, but I really like the, uh, I like the sweetness to it because it, Adds to the complexity. It makes it interesting. Zach, you brought up a great point. When you cut it, definitely, obviously, mellows out that ethanol burn and adds a bit more sweetness. Man. Yeah. There's a sweetness that I like. Yeah. Like, there's a it really does. good sweetness. And just add a little bit on top of that. Okay. I, it does. Do a little cut. I, I think, yeah, it's solid. Do you like a 50-50 or what? So here's the thing. You know, not to... This isn't a slight. It's I, really sweet. It, I want this on the rocks, right? Give me two cubes, two, three fingers of that. Maybe maybe it's meant not to be. I don't know. Oh, I mean, yeah. Let's keep it up. Let's and then, we're talking about it. Let's try it. Let's and then it. let's jump into our scores. So. Let's, yeah, let's jump into some scores. So While Zach's getting cubes. Tell us a little bit about your nose experience. I enjoyed the nose. Um, I, I think this all goes hand in hand. Very solid nose, very solid taste. But to, in my personal opinion, there's just an ethanol bite that is overpowering. It's very prominent, and mm-hmm. I think it brings it down a notch. Um, so nose, I'm going to give a one and a half um, is my nose score. And, okay. And if you go back, you know, I'm super critical, guys. So you know my scores are, you know, I'm a little bit swayed in one direction or the other. And um, it's your personality trait no but if i put a one on there that means it's really 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 bad but so this isn't yeah like, i mean we say one is no. okay yeah it's um, not hot. it's not like oh it's terrible I'm just you're just saying it's okay it's okay you give it a zero no you could give it a zero but no one and a half um i find the nose to be enjoyable i give it a one and a half <clears throat> it's it's different oh, wow i know I, I love that he always classes it up when he brings the ice, he gets the he, oh, he gets yeah, the mixer. He, he brings he the, mixer. the mixer. Wow. Yeah. He does it right. He does I mean, it right. I mean oh, this, is this is a classy show. This is a classy show. You're yeah, a classy show. Make it show, good. show the viewers what he brought over. I mean, he actually make, brought make He brings over the, the, the crystal Cocktail. mixer. Crystal mixer with make ice. It good. You know, you don't want plastic on this show, do you? No. No, you don't. Um, yeah, I give nose one and a half. It's your phone. 
Yeah. What's my phone? I've got my phone turned off. I'm sorry I have it on the table. No, no, it's all good. Oh, yeah. So, all right, so, the phone beeps, and it's always you who look at yourself last. There you go. But only this one. Uh, Jackie, always. welcome. He forgot it was Wednesday. What's up, Jackie Black? How's it going, Jackie welcome. Black! What do you think about nose? Um, one and a half, one and a half. Let me plop this little dude in there. No, but you're not judging it on I don't know. The smoke. I get, I get that barbecue smoke that I do like. Um, I'm going to give it a... Uh, I'll give it a two. There we go. And here's why. Okay. Um, I enjoy that smoky nose. Uh, just like I did with the double cast. It's a very, very similar... It's more palatable when you add a cube. Like, I can definitely Dude. really get into the nose now. Dude, we're coming up with great ideas left and right. Solving the world's I mean, problems. Maybe we at a time. Maybe not the cut, but hey, look at that. That's a cube. <laughs> <not a> cube. <laughs> cube it, don't cut it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to oh, give it a yeah, two on the nose. Yeah. Two on the nose. I enjoy the smoky flavor. Um, and, yeah, you, you can all, like, the, the nose transfers into the taste. Yeah, I must get, like, a sweet tea. I must get, like, a... So is it rocking yeah. or what? It's yeah, rocking. It the uh, the ice cube really mutes down the right flavor. Oh yeah, this is that's what you you want. This could this? be the drink of summer. Yeah, you want this. This could rocks. be the drink of summer. No, this with a cocktail would be spectacular. Yeah, yeah Rick, I, Rick House me. I'm Lost sorry, alcohol. I disagree okay. with you. That's fine. I was wrong. You were correct. I mean, with a night once you put an ice cube in, this is spectacular. This is amazing. You oh, mix yeah. this with a few other. Dude, I am getting that sweet tea taste that you were yeah, talking about. Yeah, it's... definitely. I mean, that's that sweetness that you get a little bit of when it's um, it's good. when it's neat, right? Yeah. But cooling down, it's, just, say, it's sweetness in your mouth. I would almost say if they were sourcing MGP, it'd have that kind of that black tea flavor, yeah. which we know they're not. But this yeah. is this this is the first time in a long time that we've put ice cubes into a. A whiskey. So yeah, this is, it is. I don't. Have we ever really? Well, I mean, we we've made, made a couple I mean, of shows. We we demanded it. Yeah, and also yeah. when we were making cocktails. Yeah. But Rick House cubed. Interesting. All right, let's jump to taste. Awesome. What do we got on taste? You tell us. Oh, I need a minute. Oh, you need a minute. I'm debating. Um, I am going to say. Let me give it a taste again. Hang on a second, because I'm loving this with the cube. Um, so you gotta right. you gotta go well, back to pre cube. Yeah, 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 you gotta go to pre cube. So, all right, pre so pre pre cube, pre cubescent. Pre cubescent. I need to go back to the pre cubescent glass here. What does pre cube um, say? Pre cube me is gonna say it was a it was a one and a half on taste. On taste. Um, okay. It it was really similar to. Uh, the gold bar reserve and even though I was shocked about the flavor profile that I was getting the, you know that that chipotle pepper that is just not something I'm looking for in my whiskey or maybe I wasn't prepared for tonight makes sense um, but would it go with a, with a specific meal I wouldn't drink that with Mexican food okay oh that's pretty yeah that's what I'm I think it would get I think it would get really lost um Okay. It's interesting. It's it's interesting. And Gold Bar, please don't take take this wrong. Maybe it's just the mood. Maybe it's the super summer heat. Like I don't know. Uh, I don't know. At one and a half. It's just not floating okay. my boat. But I got two products that do float my boat. So. Oh yeah. Well, what about, I mean, so, two out of three. So here, is that man. is that pre cube and post cube? Or yeah, I want you guys to take an average of your right. two ratings. That's what I'm going to do in my judgment. Because I mean, for me, pre cube. I would also say one and a half. The only reason why is uh, like I enjoy the sweetness, that, that subtle sweetness, and then that, that chipotle, like that burnt, you know, tomato pepper taste, right? Yeah. Um, but on the back of the tongue, it just it numbs the heck out of it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But then post cube, I am going to give it a two because it improves significantly. Yes. And then it also, sure does. Yeah, so it like sure the, does. Yeah, the ethanol, the eth it mutes the ethanol. And then the 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 uh, sweetness yeah the sweetness comes yeah. out and then it tastes less burnt I guess uh, that's yeah yeah I, but, but the smoke is still there uh, it I love is. the smoke I love that my, smoke yeah post cube I'm giving it 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 does a whole point better in my book two and a half two and yeah half? two and a half um, post cube post cube I was pretty harsh a one I was I was ready to be done with this and unfortunately give it a one that's pre cube. No, that was pre-cube. Pre so, pre so now that I've had a cube, it is definitely a solid two. 
It's gone up a full full point. Full point, which you guys get a two out of uh, three. I want to change mine actually. I want to okay. be two and a half. Wow, that's because, wow. Yeah, because because I, I went from yeah, one can... one point five uh, pre cube. That's drinking it neat. Okay, right? and then yeah, after the cube, I mean, after cooling it down. It's it improves so much. So better. good. It's a lot more palatable, at least for me. It's um, so good with a cube. So yeah. what's our averages here? What does that what does that give us across? Well that takes board? me to a two on average. That takes you to a two on average. We that takes you to a one and a half on average. Yeah. We're also going value next. Value it gets a three. Hands what is, down. What is yes. the uh, I, what's the hold uh, on. I think this is forty bucks. Hey viewer. Thirty or forty bucks. And yes. total wine is thirty-two ninety-nine. No. Okay. So ninety nine. This wow. is an instant again, I, we I you know bitched a little bit about You're getting the a cask ethanol strength. But for the price and the taste otherwise of what you're getting, cask oh, strength it's worth craft it. Craft whiskey. Put it on ice in a cocktail. It'll be the best mixer you have. I think this not is, not in a bad fashion. You know. Yeah, what I mean. this is a top whiskey. shelf. This is a top shelf whiskey. Uh, this is yeah. a three value. Three all day value because it's a top shelf whiskey, and at that price, thirty three bucks. That is amazing. That's a steal. Forty dollars. I would still give this a three. I was expecting that to be around fifty. Forty five. I'd give this a three. When I first was looking it up, I was like, well, that's a seventy five dollar bottle. I, I would definitely up to fifty dollars. Give it a three. Yeah, I agree. With based that. on the taste, um, so. and and with what you're getting, the product that's in the bottle, just because it doesn't meet my palate doesn't mean that it's not a high quality spirit. You can taste it. No, it's a high it, quality spirit. If I was in a pinch and just had you know thirty bucks in my hand and I ran to the liquor store, Rick House, Rick House, yeah, Gold Bar Rick House. I give it a three as well. High quality. So Perfect. yeah, three for value. It's definitely worth it. What's our total score? Yeah, once you get up to that, I mean. Uh, what was it again? Thirty three dollars. Yeah, thirty three bucks. Dude, that is a deal. If you, yeah, if you yeah. want, if you want cask strength and smoke and you know what you want to drink on the rocks, definitely go Gold Bar Rick. Total That's scores. Fact. Total scores, Zach. So I had a three for value, two point five on the uh, taste. taste, and nose. then two on the nose. For so, total of seven and a half. Okay. Right, now now let's not talk about the last part until we give. I also have a seven and a half out of wow. Seven and a half okay. out of ten. Seven and a half out of ten. I have a six out of ten. That's respectable for so you. So for no, for me, six out of ten is not bad. Actually, yeah. six out of, six out of ten is very respectable. I for say the show overall. overall. Yeah, I say a seven. Overall. A seven out of ten is I would go out of my way to buy this bottle. Blown away bonus. Any of you? Uh, not this time. Only reason why is because of the ethanol burn. Yeah. Um, I really enjoyed. Double cask because you had zero burn. Oh, it went down so it smooth. It was so smooth. And, th and this gives you the same flavor, but just the um, you know the ethanol punch. Yeah. Um, but if you're looking to you know get that barrel strength uh, booze, I mean you kind of have to deal with it, right? But you do. I, but I, but I do enjoy Rick House. I am a fan. I am a fan. Blown away bonus. No blown away for me tonight. Again. Solid value, great quality spirit. You can taste the craft that goes into this. Oh, absolutely. There's no, there's no doubt in my mind that this didn't deserve uh, a double gold, just because the flavor profile unique. isn't for me. But it's unique. Um, it's super unique. Yeah. I think that I would recommend it to just about anyone. Oh, totally. But I'm um, gonna go out and buy one. Why not? Yeah, yeah no, sure. it's totally worth having on your shelf, <laughs> and it is a top shelf whiskey in my mind. So that's great. Yeah, you know, I um. I almost want to ask everyone if I can do a half point blown away bonus. You sure can. Because I think this deserves an extra half point. All right. Go All right. Because, All right. because I, again, just echoing what these guys have said, there is a uniqueness to this, a value to this, that smokiness, that just like super unique flavor. I've never had anything that drank like this. Yeah. And I, I think that makes it special and it makes it worth the price that you're paying 30 ish bucks. Is a drop in the bucket. I would hope for all of our friends and viewers out yeah. there, like, go get it and just try something different. It's Absolutely. not your commoner scotch or your commoner whiskey. It's out there. It's different. It's cool. Gets the extra half point from me. Gives it a total score of six and a half for me, which is totally respectable. I think for this bottle, six I, and a half overall for all good of stuff. Us, huh? Was um, it seven and a half? No, you get a seven, and a half. six and a half. Yeah, that's right in line. It's right. I in mean, line. in in, in when you go out and get this bottle, just get it. Try, yeah, try it. 
try it neat just to just try to it. see yeah. just to see and then see how that that flavor evolves right uh, don't, don't I, cut it if you want to i wouldn't recommend it um do the but cube definitely do, like, the cube. do the cube have it on the rocks have it cold it'll blow you away yeah i loved it um all right, everybody, thanks for joining the show tonight. I'm James. I'm Zach. And I'm BJ. We'll drink, see you next week. Hey, right. drink well, be well. Drink well, be well. I like that. You should put that on a shirt. Maybe we will. We'll All do right. that. All right. I bye, like everybody. It. It's fun because yeah. well means like the crappy okay. drinks behind the bar. Bye, 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 bye. bye. bye.